Hello folks, how, how are you doing? So it's already about two weeks now since the football season in the Premiership has ended but I must admit that, that I've been quite amazed how the rumour mills has been in full motion since the season ended. We've been linked to, Liverpool have been linked to thousands of players recently. So I decided to make a video just to kind of summarize a bit what has been said in the papers so far. Uh, one of the main uh, rumors flying around, I think it, uh, in fact it's not a rumor but it's been confirmed that a uh, 15 million pound bid has been accepted by Liverpool for Andy Carroll. Uh, I think this bid has been accepted since more than one week now. And uh, so far no, no extra news about this one. I got to say that uh, I won't be too sad to see the back of Andy Carroll, but uh, I think he has been quite unfairly treated by Liverpool. Uh, the lad hasn't been given a proper chance, but I think uh, obviously Brandon Rogers seems to favour other type of other. He's not the the, the kind of profile in a striker that uh, Brendan Rodgers is looking for. Maybe he's not mobile enough. You know, Andy Carroll is not one to go and dribble around. He's not pacey. But he has other qualities, mainly heading ability. You know, he's a bit old-fashioned, a bit like Alan Shearer. And uh, I think at times this season we have, we have missed player with a uh, quality of Andy Carroll, especially uh, during corners, during set pieces, you won't find the likes of Coutinho or even Sturridge or even Suarez. It's very, very rare that Liverpool uh, score headed goals. So, anyway, but like I say, I won't be sad if he's sold, especially for 15 million pounds. We will never, ever get back this 35 million pounds. It was one of the most stupid transfers uh, done by Liverpool. It's quite unfortunate because we made an extremely good deal with Fernando Torres, selling him for 50 million, and then we blew more than three quarters of that money with Andy Carroll. Mind you, it, mind you, it's it's not the player's fault, but uh, a big zero there for I don't know who was responsible, whether it was Kenny Dalglish or Damien Comoly, but it was a really stupid decision. And if we get fifteen million pounds for him, we got to consider ourselves very lucky. But so far, he hasn't. Uh, there's no more news about this. It looks as if. Uh, the more time goes on, the more for me he seems not to be too keen uh, to go back to to go permanently to West Ham. But we'll have to see how it goes. This is for Andy Carroll. And then we've been linked to tons of goalkeepers also. Uh, I think Begovic from Stoke. Uh, there was one rumour when... Uh, I don't know, he, during his international break, apparently he was quoted as saying that he's ready to join up with the Liverpool squad in July, but this has been denied by uh, Stoke. So Begovic, 25 or 26 year old keeper, not a bad keeper, but we have to see also. Uh, rumors about Pepe Reina maybe leaving the club. Especially with Victor Valdez at Barcelona. This is confirmed that 
he wants he will not stay he won't sign an extension so Barcelona are in for a keeper whether it's Pepe Reina or not we'll have to see Pepe Reina I think uh, well he's 30 31 now a goalkeeper obviously can go on until the late 35 36 years of age but Pepe Reina has dipped in form uh, he, he has been a terrific keeper for Liverpool, no question. But the last two years haven't been too impressive. He has made some high-profile, costly mistakes uh, during the last two seasons. Whether he can get over this, we'll have to see also. Uh, we've been linked also to numerous centre-backs, especially with uh, Jamie Carragher having retired now. One that looks to go through is Colo Toure. Colo Toure will be 32 now, I think. Completely out of favour at uh, Manchester City now. Uh, the problem that I have with Colo Toure, he wasn't... I say he was, I speak in the past tense, because... Uh, 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 when he was at Arsenal, uh, he was a terrific defender, pacey, uh, good technique, and uh, quite solid also. And then obviously he was transferred to Manchester City for, I think, 15, 16 million pounds. And uh, he, did quite he, he did quite well over there uh, initially, but then he had... Uh, he was banned, a ridiculous ban really, it made me laugh because uh, apparently he took uh, a, a substance from his wife uh, to control his weight or something like that and he was banned for six months after this. Uh, I found that quite funny and ridiculous also. But anyway, at present he is completely out of favour. Uh, at Manchester City, I think he played only 10 games last season for them. Uh, Manchester City obviously play with Vincent Company and uh, this this youngster Matezic or I forgot his name. Colo Toure has no future at Manchester City. Uh, the worry that I have with this signing, obviously he blip he brings. With him, he brings with him a uh, wealth of experience due to his age, 32 years of age. But Colo Toure, uh, Toure's game is very much about pace. And for me, pace is linked to age. And uh, I don't think at 32 years of age he still has this pace. He doesn't, ha he doesn't have it anymore for me. Uh, so whether he can... Uh, change his game for the better with his age we'll have to see I'm not so sure but uh, anyway it's a free transfer and he and if he his wages are not as high maybe it's a good one uh, so we'll have to see but the other interesting uh, rumor about a defender that is linked who is linked to Liverpool is the Greek one. A young, a young Greek, Kyriakos Papadopoulos, who is currently at Schalke, he's 21. He had a terrific season uh, that, uh, in 2012, 2011 and 2012, he played 47 games and he even scored 7 goals, which is not a bad return for a centre-back. Uh, I haven't watched him too much, but uh, the reports say that he's a pacey defender, very solid in the air and uh, still very young, so uh, he still has a, a lot to progress. And he fits the profile of uh, resale value that FSG is looking for. Whether he will accept to come is another matter. 
we'll have to see again. But uh, I'm more interested about this Papadopoulos defender than Colotouré. Colotouré, I think, is just a backup transfer. Uh, so we'll have to see, we'll have to see. So this was for the defenders, Andy Carroll, Colotouré, Papadopoulos. Players going out. Perena, we'll have to see. Martin Skirtel also came out and said that he had the worst season of his career. He will consider offers to leave Liverpool if ever some offers do materialize. Uh, Martin Skirtel, remember he was our player of the season in 2012. And then uh, since Brendan Rodgers came, at the start of the season he was gi even given a contract extension and uh, and then he he dipped in form he had uh, two he had many games where he played very very badly especially the the game in the FA Cup against Oldham he had an absolute nightmare this kid from Oldham who by the way is 50% professional footballer and 50% uh, still at university uh, really uh, made Skirtle and Sebastian Coates also look ridiculous, fucking ridiculous and uh, we were dumped out of the FA Cup as you know and uh, he seems at present to be absolutely out of favour with regards to Brendan Rodgers Brendan Rodgers came out and said that Skirtle is still in his plans. Whether this is true or not, we'll have to see. But uh, Martin Skirtle also will be 29 soon. So unless he gets back to his form where he was named player of the season, if we get 10 or 12 million for him, I won't be too sad to see the back of him. Uh, so we'll have to see. The Christian Eriksen rumor, the playmaker at Ajax, 21 years of age, Danish playmaker. Uh, these rumors have cooled down now. Apparently Liverpool were strongly interested in his services, but it seems we have strong competition from the likes of Dortmund or Bayern Munich. And... Uh, <laughs> will be difficult to convince Christian Eriksen at present to choose Liverpool ahead of Bayern Munich or Borussia Dortmund. So we'll have to see for this also. So I think that's about it for the rumours so far. So like I said, rumour mill in full motion, but so far nothing has, uh, nothing concrete yet. Uh, I've just read on Sky Sports now that uh, they are saying that the Colo Toure deal is close. We'll have to see. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, so this is why I wanted to make a video to summarize the, the rumors so far. Uh, let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe. And uh, as soon as we have some concrete deals now, the deals uh, that hopefully quality players will be rubber stamped by Liverpool. I will make another video after, after this. So that's it. Take care guys and uh, I'll speak to you soon. You'll never walk alone.